Migraines are a type of headaches. They can happen at any age. They're probably a bit more common in adults than in children, but they're actually quite common in children. In fact, migraines occur in as much as one in four of people overall, probably as many as one in 10 children. So what makes it a migraine as opposed to just an ordinary headache? There are several factors that make a neurologist classify it as a migraine, and actually severity is not necessarily the most important part of it. So specific characteristics that make it a migraine are that it's lasting at least several hours, it's on, often on one side of the head, it's generally pounding, it may be accompanied by neurologic symptoms at the beginning such as visual changes, numbness, tingling, slurred speech. On rare occasions it can be accompanied by even more alarming neurologic symptoms such as confusion or memory loss or weakness of an extremity. Those are much less common and they're commonly associated with nausea and vomiting. They're commonly relieved by sleep and they're commonly associated with being bothered by light and sound, or what we call phonophobia and phonophobia. Now, most people don't have all of those. They only have some of those. And in general, even people who clearly have migraines may not have all the features with all the headaches. So they may have nausea and vomiting with some of the headaches, but not with all of the headaches. Now, many people can pick out a specific provoking factor, particularly teenage girls and women who have them at the time of their menstrual periods. But you can have migraines all the way back to essentially infancy.